the hardest things to do as a streamer is to keep up with chat sometimes. A lot of new streamers find it hard to stay interactive and just follow the chat along while trying to play their favorite games. This becomes a thousand times harder when you start streaming in VR. Instantly, if you don't have anything set up, you lose all interactivity with your chat. And nobody wants that. When you join into someone's chat, you want to feel like you're participating a part of the stream. And if you're someone like me, interacting with chat is probably one of the most main things about your stream. So when I started streaming in VR about a month ago, I had to overcome these challenges to find ways for chat to still be heard. And that's one of the most important things that we're going to go over today. My name is Tomo. I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. Check the link down below to check me out there. But for now, let's take a look at the applications I use to help me have chat interactivity while doing VR streams. The first software we're gonna talk about today is Live. And if you don't know what Live is, it basically allows people to do stuff like this in their streams. So maybe you wanna put yourself inside a Beat Saber or anything like that, it's all possible through Live. But we're gonna be talking about one key feature that Live provides. So the first thing you want to do is head over to Steam, find Live in the store, and then it's completely free. So just download it. Once you do that, you'll be greeted here by the dashboard. What you want to do is make sure that you have auto launch enabled on streamer kit and press launch streamer kit. Now it is quite small, so I'll try my best to cover this best as possible. First thing you want to do is log into your Twitch. Then you can also log into your Discord if you want to see specific channels in there. You can log in with your Streamlabs or Stream Elements, your Pulsoid as well, just if you want to get your, um, let's say, tipping notifications and stuff like that. Over here then, you can basically decide to see what you want to see inside of your chat. So obviously first you'd want to have it enabled. You can set the size and everything like that. Again, that's kind of completely up to you. I'd recommend spending a couple of minutes just tweaking all of this. Same with the position too. I have this saved in a way that exactly just suits me for when I flick my wrist. I can see the chat, but it's not in the way when I don't want it. You can add all the extra emotes from Better TTV. You can enable or disable animated emotes, and you can also see your viewer count as well, which is really, really cool. Once you have all of this set up exactly how you'd like it, the one thing I would really recommend to do is go into profile and create a profile and save it. So many times I've created this and when I come back to it, it's just after defaulting everything. So at least this way, if you did take about five, 10 minutes to set this up perfectly, you don't need to do that ever again. Just save the profile and you're good to go. One crucial thing to note as well, however, that this does use open VR. So if you're in a game and you're starting to notice that maybe your chat overlay isn't working, you may need to add this specific launch option inside the Steam game. Population one is a great example of this. I can't seem to get my chat opening up on it. So what you want to do is right click, go over to properties, and then you have launch options and you want to enable this option inside that. I'll have that linked down below. So that is a great option, but then again, it's like normal streaming. You have to go out of your way and take a look at it. Maybe look at your other monitor, or in this case, look at your wrist or look up in the sky or look down below, depending on where you positioned it. So that's where the next piece of software comes into play. If you're new around here, there's something that I recommend an awful lot to every single Twitch streamer, which is StreamerBot, which allows you to set up different actions, to have certain reactions, etc, etc. What they also have and provide, but don't really talk about a whole lot, is Twitch Speaker. Like StreamerBot, you know, the UI is very minimalist, it's very just default, there's no bells, no whistles, but that doesn't mean it's not powerful. Editing Tomo here, uh, never showed you how to sign in, awkward. Click on settings, click on general. And then you should see here your Twitch account, just type in your username, make sure you click auto connect, auto reconnect, and then it'll say connect to Twitch. And once you've done that, the first place you wanna head over is the settings tab here. Create an actual voice. By default, it will just use the basic windows. Don't sound completely great. We can run a test message here. This is a test message. You can, however, add other speech engines. So if you want AWS or Google Cloud Texas speech, anything like that, you can completely do it. Now, be aware, these can cost money, but a lot of them do provide, let's say, AWS, I believe, has a one year free tier, which that you could use if you want to have more advanced voices. But all you really want to do here, let's just call this test voice. The output device is basically where do you want the sound to actually go. So wherever you want the audio to go to, so let's say your headset, 
this is where you'll choose that what you want to do here then is go down and choose the actual voice so again we only have the default david and uh, zira voices here however if you did have aws or google cloud or anything like that those voices would also appear here so you can just click on one of those and you this can test, a test it message you can go to the next one you can test that one this is a test message etc etc here you can also change the pitch as well and you can also change the rate which is basically how fast it sounds so change the volume so let's say if you want a louder voice or a quieter voice you can do that all here too and once you've done all of that i have to just click it and there it is oh i added an extra e doesn't matter in the general tab as well you can also sign in with your stream labs or your stream elements that'll help you get tts notifications for any tips and stuff like that here you can also choose your default voice so we can have the test voices and then you can also set up a different voice then for highlights. But that's not all you can do. If we go into speaking options, you can have it, let's say, say every single thing. You can say the username so you know who's actually typing. You can also change their prefix. This one I absolutely love. So only say the username if the previous one was different. So basically, let's say it would say, Tamo said hi. If I type then Ken and say, how are you? It won't say Tamo said hi, Tamo said how are you? It'll just say Tamo said hi how are you which is perfect because you already know who's typing nicknames as well are really 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 great especially if you have users in your chat with let's say a lot of numbers or letters just randomly just inside their username this way you can really help that you can also set a max word count too i wish there was a max character count rather than a max word count you can also get it to not read messages that were deleted from users timed out or from users who were banned so that way if someone do does come in and be like you want to be fine yeah that that's not going to go through your tts if you have a lot of chat commands set up as well you can set up prefixes to blacklist so for example all of my commands start with an exclamation point so therefore anything that has that at the very start of the message does not come through the tts so if people are putting through the song requests everything like that it's not going to come through you can also ignore emotes because by default it's going to say the names of all the emotes quite annoying so make sure you untick all or you tick all of those same with the cheer emotes but I do allow the first emote because we have a lot of fun when someone does like the Tom away I sweat. You know, we have we do have a lot of fun with that. But again, it's completely up to you and you can set up allowed emotes too. You can do replacements as well. So let's say if someone calls you a bad word, you can make the TTS say a good word. It's something that I haven't personally set up as you can see here, but you easily, easily could. So let's say if someone comes in and says hi, we can make TTS say bye. So we can even test that right now. First thing, I do have myself ignored. So that's something as well that you can do. So let's say if there's just some users who are just abusing it, and you just say, do you know what? No, you're, you're not allowed TTS for the next five minutes or whatever. You can just tick the ignored box. I'm gonna untick that. And what we're going to do is first of all, save settings, probably one of the most important things. So now if I type hi, it should say bye. Tom O.I. Arl said hi events as well you can have the tts bot tell you when someone follows subscribes gives a sub bits raids everything and you can set up even multiple ones as well and i believe by default it does come up multiple ones so if you set both the weight the same it will just randomly decide which one to go to let's say if you don't want everybody to be able to talk in tts let's say a couple of hundred people in your stream you just it just might be way too much for you completely understandable down here in the settings speaking options you can set permissions so let's say if you just want mods to be able to talk into your ear you can also set up commands as well so if you only want people to be able to tts with a specific command so you're not hearing the mods entire conversation with jazz set up a command to be exclamation mark exclamation mark speak anything you want it's completely up to you and then mods have to do that command then type their message and then it will come through your ears. But both of those pieces of software I just talked about, I really only scratched the surface to be completely honest, but hopefully you can at least get started with that and be able to empower you on your streams while inside of VR. Again, my name has been Tomo. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. You can check out my link below. And hey, why don't you check out that video right there and that video right there. Love and appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.